Hi biologists, let's start by looking at the learning objectives for this section. At the end of this section and following the biology syllabus, you should be able to explain the terms cell continuity and chromosome. What does this actually mean? What are we trying to understand? Well, it's very straightforward. All you have to be able to do is explain the meaning of the terms cell continuity and the meaning of the term chromosome. Let's look at cell continuity and the chromosome. Cell continuity means that all cells develop or come from cells that were there already, from pre-existing cells. Cell continuity really refers to the fact that living cells come from living cells of the same type. Now the new cells are produced by the cell division of the existing cells. Cell continuity therefore is vital for all species to allow them to grow and to allow them continue life. Now when a new cell is formed it has to go through three phases. It grows larger. It has to grow to a suitable size. It has to produce all the materials it will need. And finally, it reproduces and forms new cells. So if you like, cell continuity involves growth, synthesis where it's making materials and reproduction. Now, cells spend a pretty short time carrying out cell division. It must be noted they spend most of their time simply going about their everyday activities and making the materials they need to live and grow. Now, let's look at the chromosome providing an explanation for a chromosome or explaining what a chromosome is, is another objective of this lesson. Now, chromosomes are structures made of a complicated chemical called DNA and protein. And the chromosomes are found in the nucleus of a cell. Chromosomes are actually visible during cell division. This is how they got their name. Their name comes from the Latin for chromo, which has to do with coloured. You might have heard of chromatic and some, which is to do with body, some body. So chromosomes are actually called coloured bodies. Now, chromosomes, as we've already said, are made of DNA and protein. 60% of a chromosome is actually made of protein and 40% is made of DNA. DNA is a complicated chemical and we are quite happy at the moment to call it DNA. But those of you are able for a bit more and we need to break the back in a future section, it might be no harm to rise to the challenge of realising that DNA stands for D oxyribonucleic, you can see the end there, acid. So, if you like, chromosomes are made of protein and deoxyribonucleic acid. By the way, protein and DNA can also be referred to as biomolecules. Now, genes are located along the length of each chromosome. For the purposes of this video and to understand the concept, we are going to imagine that chromosomes are rather like pearl necklaces. And the pearls on the necklace are representing the genes. Now this is rather a simple picture. And as time goes on, we will learn the structure of a chromosome. Now each gene contains the code for making a protein. So, in a nutshell, 
the definition of a gene is that it is a section of DNA, part of a chromosome, and it contains the code or the information for making a protein. So if proteins are used for body building and making parts of cells, we can say that genes control the physical characteristics or the traits of a species. All the genes together form the genome of an organism. Each gene has a particular place or a locus or location on a chromosome. And when the cells are not dividing, the chromosomes are in the form of long, thin threads called chromatin. For learning purposes, Keep an eye on the fact that you have IN in thin, IN in invisible and IN in chromatin. So this will help you remember that when a cell is not dividing, the chromosomes are in the form of thin, invisible threads called chromatin. Now each species has its own special number or specific number of chromosomes in each nucleus of their cells. Humans have 46 chromosomes in the nucleus of each cell. Now the chromosomes are arranged in pairs called homologous chromosomes. Homo coming from the word meaning the same. So just like you might have 46 shoes in your wardrobe and you will have 23 pairs. Humans have 46 chromosomes in the nucleus of their cells and will have 23 pairs. The chromosomes are arranged in pairs because each pair of chromosomes will carry genes that control the same characteristic, hence the name homologous pair meaning the same. And there you have it. Practice in a jotter. Now that we have reached the end of our lesson, have we achieved our objective? Can you explain the terms cell continuity and chromosome?